If you aspire to achieve that coveted V taper look, where your upper body surpasses your waist in proportion, then cultivating a broader back is absolutely essential. Today, let's delve into the top-notch exercises that will expedite the development of a wider back. Furthermore, I'll elucidate specific training techniques crucial for augmenting both width and thickness. Towards the end, I'll outline the optimal sets and reps needed to seamlessly integrate these exercises into your workout routine. As we navigate through these exercises, Bear in mind that building a bigger back effectively necessitates focusing on three fundamental aspects for all these exercises. Firstly, concentrate on precisely targeting your back, steering clear of engaging your biceps, triceps, or forearms. Develop the neuromuscular connection between your brain and back, endeavoring to pull the weight with your elbows, not your hands. Squeeze your back with each repetition, as if securing a pencil between your shoulder blades. Secondly, progressively overload these exercises over time by incrementally increasing the weight load. Lastly, ensure a full extension and embrace a profound stretch during the negative phase of all pulling movements. Kindly remember to give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and drop a comment sharing your methods for developing your back muscles. Let's commence with the initial exercise the long angled dumbbell row. This variation, often overlooked, proves highly effective. Lean against a surface lower than your waist, bend down until your back nearly parallels the ground, and grab a dumbbell in a neutral position. Instead of pulling the dumbbell towards your belly button, strive to pull it back towards your hips, engaging your lats and the back of your shoulders. Next in line are close grip and wide grip pull-ups. Both grips offer unique benefits. A wide grip targets the lower lots while minimizing bicep involvement, whereas a close grip incorporates more biceps and inner lots. Strategically employ both grips in your routine for a comprehensive back workout. Transitioning to the standing cable pullover, set the cable cross machine at its zenith. Grasp a straight bar with a grip slightly wider than shoulder width and bend forward to maximize the range of motion. Open your hands throughout to reduce forearm engagement, emphasizing tension on your lats. Reverse grip rows are indispensable for targeting the lower lats. Grab the barbell with palms facing away, maintain a slight bend at your elbows, and pull towards your belly button while focusing on squeezing your back with each representative. The deadlift, a quintessential exercise, contributes significantly to a thicker, wider, and stronger back. Master proper form with lighter weights before gradually progressing to heavier loads. Lift by squeezing your abs, pushing your feet into the ground, and hanging your hips. Dumbbell and barbell pullovers, if executed correctly, can be potent for back development. Maintain a parallel position with the bench, gripping the dumbbell with a specific hand formation to emphasize lot engagement. Remember to halt just before the dumbbell aligns with the top of your head for optimal tension. Concluding with the lot pulldown, vary between overhand and underhand grips for a diverse challenge. Focus on pulling with your lots, not biceps, and refrain from excessive swinging. While these exercises provide a comprehensive back workout, I recommend selecting four or five for each session, performing three sets of six to 10 reps with adequate breaks. Prioritize heavier lifts like deadlifts before proceeding to lighter exercises. Remember, building a bigger back requires dedication both in the gym and the kitchen. Subscribe for more informative content, and if you're seeking a comprehensive approach to building muscle and burning fat, your journey to a robust, well-defined back begins now.